Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. And if you are a loyal subscriber, welcome back and thanks for visiting again. So let's start your tarot card reading and find out what is happening in your love life, Virgo. Okay, so I'm looking at these energies and I'm picking up that in this situation there has been something that has devastated your relationship with this individual. It feels like there's something connected to the past. That's what I'm picking up with these energies. It feels as if things fell apart. I'm getting the impression from these two cards that... There has been a difficulty to heal from something. Now, if you look at this energy, it just feels like in matters of interaction and engagement with this individual, what I'm sensing is that the message of love, the offer of love, it was not given in a way in which it should have been. I hope that makes sense because I'm picking up from these two cards that someone may have done something that they believe to be sincere to the other individual, but the other individual may have perceived it as insincere. Or you can look at these two cards in light of the fact that there have been certain incidents that have been building up in the background of your relationship with this person. And they have caused this person to look at the situation and feel as if they can't handle things. It feels like where things started to collapse and fall apart just because of the negative elements that were happening during the course of the relationship. Someone had a hard time releasing, letting go and forgiving, okay? But before I go deeply into these energies, I'm going to go through these very briefly and then I'm going to clarify, okay? The first energy is talking about love romance and the desire to appease, the desire to romance another individual, wearing one's heart on one's sleeve and wanting to offer the cup of love to another person. And I feel like there's a very genuine and sincere energy towards this card. What I'm picking up from it is that you may have offered love to this person or they may have offered love to you and it was very beautiful when it was done. But I feel like It was heartbreak. So it almost makes me feel as if someone rejected another person or didn't feel the same way or along the way in terms of the relationship, everything was smooth and wonderful. But then there were certain issues that were coming up. And for some of you, these might be issues that may have built up over previous relationships. And so when this love was coming in, it was all very raw. It feels as if someone hasn't yet healed from certain things. That could be one way of looking at it. And it feels as if it caused so much more pain because it was just one individual coming in with something very, you know, innocent. It feels like that. It feels like it was a very innocent offer or perhaps the longing to be with another person. And one individual was like, I'm not ready for this or I can't let you love me. It's that sort of energy. It's like, I'm not lovable. It's that sort of energy that I'm picking up. And it's very defined, very defined. So I feel like one individual was very cold, distant and indifferent to this love, the presentation of love, the way it was offered, the way it was 
communicated. It felt as if, you know, one person just wasn't in the right frame of mind. So this could have been the two of you dating each other, getting to know each other, longing for each other, you know, and then when it got too intimate or it got too um, emotional, one individual may have backed away. And I feel like the trigger here was the relationship before, perhaps in the past or past issues or things that are not even connected to you. For some of you, that could be the case. Depends on how long you've known this individual, how long you've been dating them, you know. If the two of you have a very long history with each other, there might have been certain triggers that you were doing that you didn't know. If the two of you have a relatively new relationship, it could have been that in the situation, you know, one person was carrying baggage, emotional baggage from a different situation. So let's start the clarification process. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising and Venus so you can get a much broader perspective. You can find the videos on my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever there's a new video uploaded. Many of you will be in the process of self-isolation and quarantine. So I hope that all of you are safe and taking care of yourselves. This energy that I'm looking at is giving me the impression that one individual has this very stony appearance. It feels as if they try to show the world that they are strong and they very well might be, you know. But I also feel like they try to hide their emotions under this guise of not wanting people to know that they're really soft on the inside. So someone has a real struggle with displaying their emotions because they feel as if to be emotional, it leads to drama or perhaps it leads to conflict or confrontation and difficult energies. And they feel as if, you know, once they lose their sort of control, they can't get it back because it just starts flowing in a way in which they have no power over it. So there's a fear of getting emotional because of the fear of losing control. That's what I derive from that. Now, what I also sense from this individual's energy is that, you know, someone in this situation was grappling with a sense of regret, loss and suffering. And this might have been long before you came along, right? I'm definitely picking up this energy where one person struggles with their emotions to a great degree and has a difficult time opening up and just being themselves. So I feel like this could be triggered by the fact that perhaps at one point in time they were in a position in which they may have opened their emotions up to an individual and it led to arguments or difficulties. They may have felt as if people couldn't handle their true emotions or they may have had this fear of letting people see who they really are on the inside. So there's also other energies connected to this. Perhaps the individual you're dealing with was taken advantage of and their emotions were used against them. There's a lot of things coming up from this energy, I have to say. So it's quite interesting that there's different variations in this interpretation. Let's look at the next card. So 
someone, believe it or not, enjoys the pain and suffering. Someone cannot release it. So it feels as if there's a desire to feel like they're not good enough or not worthy enough. It feels like that sort of energy. And I feel like this broke your heart because you saw this individual having to go through these difficulties. You saw this individual having to suffer through certain things. And there were times when you wanted to love them and care for them, but it was very difficult for you to do so. I also sense from these energies that one individual likes to punish themselves. Perhaps they still have these sort of regrets from the past and they can't let go of it. So they um, choose to act and behave in a certain way, you know, where they feel as if they're punishing themselves, but they're also punishing you. Right? They're also punishing you. There's some sort of conflict here about being in a loving relationship. There's some sort of very deeply conflicting energy about opening up one's heart and having happiness. And it's very difficult to do. Very, very difficult to do. I feel like you're thinking about this individual non-stop and you can't stop thinking about them, in fact. It feels as if you want to have this new love with this person, but trying to reach them is incredibly difficult, right? So that's what I'm picking up from those energies. Let's get one more set of energies. I feel like during this period of time, it's not easy to talk to this person, okay? So this particular card is showing that someone has a hard time accepting good in their life. Someone has a hard time accepting love. And I also feel as if it's difficult to make plans with this individual. So let's clarify these energies. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I will be exploring in more detail the energies concerning this person and what you're dealing with and the potential outcome as well as advice. What I'm picking up from these energies is that every potential attempt you may have made with this individual or the attempts that you were making with this person, you know, it feels as if the two of you make progress and then it falls backwards. It feels as if there's communication and then it falls apart, you know. It's this back and forth energy and there's never really a solution that comes for both you and this person because it feels like it's constantly in motion and things are rapidly falling apart. Every time you make an attempt maybe to say something to this individual or the two of you start talking and getting back onto the right path, 
It feels as if there's this energy that pulls, you know, down all this hard work. And it makes you feel as if you have to start again. You know, it's that energy of, you know, having to always start again, always having to come back to the table with a different strategy, right? For some reason, I thought of chess. So let's see. Right, I'm picking up this energy of where someone is holding on for dear life for that emotional sort of connection. Someone is having a hard time grappling with releasing that energy and it's not an easy thing to be dealing with. I am definitely picking up that there's this one approach that's being used between you and this individual and it might not necessarily be the right approach. That's what I'm sensing from the cards. The two of you do balance each other out in this beautiful way. I do pick that energy up. Let's see. coming to this energy of where when there is light when there's happiness when there's joy this individual potentially both of you there could be a combination of energies here there's this sense of things just going from hope to emptiness and sadness there's that sense of where it's hard for them to accept love So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care, Virgo.